Hey, you got it! Yeah. You just, I, uh, you're starting to download it? Yeah, I picked it up today. Oh, nice. I wanted to give that a try, you know, fuck around with the mechanics. Fuck around, there. yeah. And then when, if we do decide to do it, should get on the PS4. You're weird. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> well, we're side by side plays. We're playing, uh, uh, Curse of Darkness or something. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah, this is weird. We found a, a bootleg copy of it on YouTube, on, on the YouTube app on the Switch. We, we access the, the dark web through yeah. the Switch. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's all good. Um, we Not like we have a PS2 to play Curse of Darkness Well, what was this? We shit, but Yeah, I, 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 it's weird. It's like... I, I, I said, have one. Weird how I kept saying that we couldn't do the PS2 games because we didn't have a PS2 or copies of the... Castlevania games exclusive to it, and you said nothing until I, literally No, no, like no, I thought you said we didn't have before. the hardware to street to record it. I mean, I'm sure if I recorded off the PS2, it would probably look shitty anyway. I'm just going to be fucking real with you. I've, I've told you before, I still have my PS2. It still works, and I still have the fucking copy of the I game. I didn't say anything about that. I said it would probably look shitty, didn't I? Anyway, we're just going to catch you up real quick, because I've been doing some castlevania -ing. And uh, I just wanted to... Wanted to wanted Castlevania to, Mania. Yeah, Castlevania Mania. Uh, I don't like this video very much, but it's, it's pretty concise. It says the entire time, a thousand year timeline in 20 minutes. Why, why so, don't you like it? Uh, you'll find out. So we're just going to start off. We're just going to just gonna catch you up on on what you've missed. And then and then we'll jump into the cutscenes of, of, of Castlevania. Walking you through the Castlevania series, I'm pumping. For the record, there's plenty of good and not so good Castlevania games that aren't part of the main story's canon, so we'll be skipping them. That means no Castlevania 64, no Circle of the Moon, and no Shadow Games. As far as those games go, all we can say is, die, non-canon enemies. You don't belong in this world. But enough talk. 1094, Castlevania. Captain, my cringe inhibitors are <laughs> failing. Very first Belmont to ever swing a whip. Leon. Leon is a heroic knight and slaughters heretics like nobody's business. When Leon teams up with his best pal Matthias Kongvin, a master tactician and baron of the two are virtually unstoppable. After Matthias returns from an expedition, he discovers his wife Elisabetta has died of illness. He is so grief-stricken that he holds up in his chambers, unable to get out of bed. In fact, the only thing that gets him out of bed is telling his buddy Leon that his fiance Sarah, has been kidnapped by a vampire. To save his betrothed, Leon puts his heretic slaying days behind him to slay vampires. Well, one vampire in particular, Walter Bernhard. Walter is holed up in eternal darkness. WALTER! Either way, Leon doesn't care if Walter operates out of a Chuck E. Cheese. He's out for immortal blood. Along the way, he encounters a weathered old alchemist named Rinaldo Gandolfi. Rinaldo wants to see Walter destroyed too, so he lends Leon a hand. Rather, a whip. The Whip of Alchemy. By the time Leon catches up to Walter, it's already too late. Sarah has been bitten and is on the fast track to becoming a vampire. Leon retreats with Sarah back to Rinaldo's cottage, where Rinaldo devises a plan. The only way to destroy Walter is to harness the part of his soul inside Sarah and fuse it with the Whip of Alchemy. Doomed to become a vampire anyway, Sarah agrees to sacrifice herself. And so, the Vampire Killer Whip is born and would be... Yeah, the whip is Leon's dead girlfriend. The whip you use in every game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lament of Innocence. I, I watched all of Lament, uh, somebody do Lament of Innocence, and I was like, what? <laughs> Passed down through the Belmont clan for generations. You better believe there's steam coming out of Leon's ears now. Armed with a new purpose and a new whip, he puts the hurt on Walter. After Leon deals the finishing blow, Death rolls up, bags Fucking him smacks him the dick with it. brings it straight to his new master, Matthias Conklin. That's right, you What? Matthias was behind it the whole time? Yeah, this is such a weird twist because, like, Matthias doesn't even show up in the game. And then, like, at the end of the game, after you kill Walter, he's like, Haha, I, all I needed you for was to kill the vampire so I could take his soul. And you're like, wait, who are you again? Like, oh my he, god, that's the somewhat same preference from fucking Curse of Darkness. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. 
Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that uh, that'll hold up in court. And don't worry, he gets a new he gets a new new wife. It's all it's all better. Oh yeah, that's the thing about Lament of Innocence too. The final boss is death. You didn't even fucking fight Dracula in that game. <laughs> what happens is the ga you fight death, or, or sorry, Matthias re reveals all his shit, he runs away, you fight death as the final boss, and then Leon fucking leaves the castle and the credits start rolling. It's like it just fucking ends out of nowhere. <laughs> Lament of Innocence is the skyward sword of Castlevania, and I'm not even fucking kidding. <laughs> like... <laughs> we are only one game in, and I already feel like I'm getting that mode 7 vertigo. But hey, this is the one that Cringe. sets everything in motion. The inciting incident of the Belmont clan's destined battle against Dracula. Except for that couple hundred years where they took a break, but we'll get to that. Anyway, over the next few centuries, the Belmonts made a name for themselves as deadly vampire hunters. So deadly, in fact, that they become exiled from normal society. All the while, Dracula is living it up, biding his time and gaining strength. He even remarries and has a son, Adrian. Unfortunately, as immortal as Dracula is, his love life runs pretty short. Dracula's wife, Lisa, is suspected of witchcraft by local officials and executed. Understandably, Dracula's resolve is strengthened, and he continues waiting for the moment he can exact his revenge on God and the world of the living. From here on in, it's a lot of variations of Dracula shows up, X Belmont beats him. But sometimes, Dracula still manages to sneak in one glancing blow before disappearing for years. 1476, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. All right, Dracula has waited long enough. He finally unleashes his army of monsters to exterminate the blight on this earth that is humanity. At long last, the Dark Lord shall take his rightful place upon a throne of bones and souls, and darkness shall... Ah, uh, I'm... So, yeah, of course, uh, season two, uh, one and two of the anime, uh, or not anime, the animation for Castlevania are roughly the events that happen in Castlevania 3. Huh. Oh no, whatever will we do? Not to worry, Trevor Belmont, star of the hit Netflix series Castlevania, is on the case. But he's not alone. He's got a posse of adventurers ready to hand Dracula his own heart and ass. On the roster, we've got Frank, Mr. The Nasty if you're nasty, a shifty yet noble thief. Next up, we've got Saifa Belnade, a powerful sorceress. Finally, we've got the son of Dracula himself, Adrian Fahrenheit Tippett, or as we know him, Alucard. He renamed himself Alucard as a direct opposition to Daddy Dracula's evil way. No need to pull out your sword, Alucard. You can cut monsters down with your edge alone. This motley crew swaggers up to Dracula's castle and soundly beats him down. The Dark Lord, along with his castle, are destroyed at the hands of Belmont and Co. So much for the centuries of time by the Drac. Grant returns to his village to rebuild, Trevor and Saifa get hitched, and Alucard decides to slumber for a while. I get it now. Patricide must be exhausting. For the next time we see Alucard, I shit you not, he sleeps until simply the night. <laughs> like... Uh, Dracula's Curse, 1476. Uh, Something of the Night, I think, is like 300 years down the line. Oh. Yeah, so we don't see him for a while. Okay. Good news is, though, that new Netflix series made by the same people that made the old Netflix series, uh, they're skipping straight to Richter, which is uh, right before Symphony of the Night. Wait, wait, so what, what do you mean? So they're they're the next series that they're, they're 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 doing another Castlevania series, not with the same characters, of course, oh. but they're gonna it's gonna focus on Richter, who's the the star of Rondo of Blood, and he appears in Cynthia Knight. So that that sort of era. Oh, okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, we we should probably uh, we should probably get the the next video up then because we didn't. All right, so we're gonna watch we're gonna watch. Curse of Darkness now, and then we'll come back to that when we're done. 
Um, That's for Spider-Man. Why is the... I put it in the fucking playlist so I could... Uh, Alright, let me try this. Skip ahead, just skip ahead, just skip ahead, and... How hyped are you for Simon and Richard in Smash? Let us know in the comments. Oh yeah, this video came out a while ago. Why don't you just type it in the search? Because... Just play the next video. There we go. Alright, here we are. It's Curse of Darkness. Is it exactly as you remember it? That's not Curse of Darkness. Oh wait, shit, you're right. This is this is Rondo of Blood. We're skipping a few titles here. <laughs> this is how I remember it. Man, the sprite work on this HD version. I know, right? Oh yeah, that's something I... <laughs> it's just something of an in-joke. Is the squat uh, walking? You can't do that in any of the games that I've played. I've been immensely disappointed. I think uh, the next game that we'll play, Super Castlevania 4, is the first one you can. <laughs> What's so important about squat? Walking? Oh, it's so vital! Look, he fucking killed Dracula with it! Alright, oh, this is my best, the best part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I <laughs> His smile, his hope, all gone. That's <laughs> 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 uh, Rondo of Blood. That's my Xavier G. They're great. I, I'm honestly disappointed. They only have 38,000 views on that video, and it's so good. We literally have like two videos on our channel that have gotten more views than this. Go watch their shit. Okay. Xavier G is so good. All right, now now we're gonna get it in now. Actually, let's let's take a quick pick, pit stop. Uh, Time, monster. We'll monster. take a quick quick pit you stop to Cynthia the night. World. It, it was not by my hand, hand that I was once again given flesh, 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 flesh. I... Hey, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I, that's what yeah. I want to know. Uh, we skipped one part. Damn. Oh, are we doing the thing? No, we didn't. Okay. Mary, we're doing the thing. Yes, we did. Where's the die monster? We did thing. H. O. Dot dot dot. Is the Tsavks desks. Scroll up, homie. Skash Dabby sad. Okay, again. Five monster, monster, monster. You you don't don't belong it belong in this this world world. It was not by my my hand that I once again given flesh flesh. I was called here by, by humans who wish to pay me tribute, 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 tribute. You, you steal, steal, steal men's souls, 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 and make, make them your slaves, slaves, slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty, empty as empty your soul, doll, doll. Mankind ill ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man, man, man? A miserable little a pile of secrets, secrets. Gamer. But it's enough talk. Five monster. Fuck. Ha, ha, ha. JK Satch stabs sack sacks. What the uh, fuck that, did that, I that, just that, want? That's, that's simply a night. That's the famous scene. Fuck you, Konami. No. Uh, Best of the Night on PS4 looks great. Yeah, so if you didn't hear, um... Anyway, I'll explain the, I'll explain the video, actually. <laughs> that seems more appropriate. So, that was, you know, just, you're just scrolling through Discord. You guys, you and your homies just randomly decided to just do a, 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 a famous quote. That's the Symphony of the Night quote, but done through Discord. And then somebody put it into the um Texas speech Texas speech and then somebody else took that that Texas speech and animated every fucking scene so meticulously also a very great video okay um, 
Right. Yeah, but the PS4 version took out that speech. <laughs> they retranslated everything and made it, like, good. But it's also, like, misses that level of, like, Emotion. bad. Yeah, bad early dubs of video games. Oh, man. It's going to be so disappointing because we're going to have to play that version. Uh, we're gonna not gonna get the die monster speech when we play it. Ah, oh, that's lame. Yeah, I know. What, what's that's the point? That's why I said the best version to get is the uh, for Symphony of the Night is the Xbox 360 version. It's the most recent version of the game that keeps the die monster. I can speech. Look, I can search for it. Oh if yeah, you want. it's like five bucks right now. All right. Anyway, let's watch Curse of Darkness. Oh, I should probably get cursed in it for this part. Ah, oh, Hector, Daddy. You like to get her? Huh? You like to get her? Oh, just one second. Man, I really love Hector. I'm a big fan of Curse of Darkness. I really hope they don't turn him into a little puppy boy. That would suck. Ah, oh, who's this rando Harley Quinn character? I'll let the opening play. Some weird stranger. They even got like the hair color right from. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's oh, so yeah. fucking weird. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Just when it seemed that there was no hope for mankind. So this takes place uh, three years of after Curse of Darkness. So about roughly where seasons three and four would take place in the show, but yeah. they, they switched things over a lot. Belmont and his comrades triumphantly slew Lord. It kind of seemed like at the end of can you stop? That's right. At the end of season three, they were kind of gearing towards this, but then in season four, they changed a bunch of shit, and I think it was for the better, honestly. With his final words. Lord Dracula left a demonic curse that enshrouded all of Europe in misery and torment. Ravaged by hideous plague and dire famine, the people's hearts turned black and murderous. The weak were slain without pity, while the land pillaged and scourged without remorse. Three years have passed since the death of Lord Dracula. And the invocation of Dracula's curse. And we'll never see him again. <laughs> never again. Do you want to give me a spoiler for the end of this game? Don't worry about it. I don't know anything about this game, so don't spoil anything. Alright, alright. Okay, so we're doing Curse of Darkness. It centers on Hector and Isaac. And I remember when season two of the show came out, people were like, oh man, I love Curse of Darkness. How dare they change? How dare they change my favorite character, Hector, and make him into this whiny little puppy boy? And uh, here's the thing, is that they changed both Hector and Isaac. I didn't hear anybody complain about the direction they took for Isaac. I thought, I was like, well, maybe the direction was just that good. Well, we'll see, we'll see the, how the game did it, and then we can kind of compare one-to-one, -one, like, what, 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 which one's better. So here's, here's a boy. Here's a little dog. We'll, we'll put him on a leash and lead him around for, like, three seasons and have him not do anything. Oh, is that? That was Hector, yeah. Hector. Show yourself, Isaac! I know you're here! Hector! Is that you? I finally <laughs> tracked you down. <laughs> you tracked me down. <laughs> so I... So I've noticed something. <laughs> noticed one key difference. He has hair! Uh... He's a gay clown. <laughs> he has hair. 
They got his monster right, which I think was really cool the first time I watched this scene. That's the exact same uh, de or de uh, I'm gonna call him demon demon that he has in the in the fight with uh, Carmilla at the end of season four. It's the mm -hmm. the main guy and main demon that he has with him, which I think is a real nice touch for the animators. But uh, hmm, yeah, like I said, I, I literally did not hear anybody complain about the change of Isaac. And... <laughs> now you see why. Hmm. Hmm. I was the one who lured you here, Hector, the fool who betrayed Does he have nipples? Dracula. Oh, that matters not. I've come to exact my revenge upon you for the death of Rosalie. Oh, and how you have this revenge. Oh, his outfit is very interesting. It's like leather. Where is his ass? What the fuck is going on with this outfit? The more I look at it, the more questions I have. <laughs> Where is his ass? Now, you think to defeat me. <laughs> me? Lord Dracula is gone, but his powers are still here in Palatia. Even you must realize... Indeed, with this the most forbidden. Oh, that's not even a costume. He's just naked. Those are tattoos. Mm -hmm. matter can be transformed into a hellish devil. There are but two humans who possess this magnificent power. You and I. <laughs> Honestly, it's such a really creative idea for a game, just like Dracula's yeah. devil forging. Like, who came up with that Never shit? That's so fun. It actually uh, was really fun to use. And soon you have no choice. Without it, I could crush you in an instant. But that I'm gonna talk about Hector for for one more second. I actually really like how they changed him in the Netflix series, and I know that's probably gonna be a controversial opinion for those that like this game, but like so far, Hector just seems like just your standard run-of-the-mill hero so far. And especially mm -hmm. for the Castlevania series, they're so... All the Bel Belmonts are so interchangeable. I, I honestly, like... I'm okay with what they did to Hector, because, like, he seems very, like... I don't know. It's he hard. It's character. hard. It's yeah. He needs character. I don't even care that they, he changed Hector it. Hector needs character, and Isaac needs like less I under character. I understand if you really liked Hector and you saw the show. He's like, what do you? He he's just this little submissive, submissive little bitch. I was like, oh, I'm kind of jacking off to it, man. <laughs> kind of vibing with it. Very satisfying, now would it? You deserve a most gruesome. For the humiliation you brought upon me three I don't know. I kinda want I kinda want show uh Isaac to meet this Isaac. <laughs> yeah, that'd be very interesting. That is why you will reclaim your powers. Where is your ass? Follow where I He makes up for it with his nipples. <laughs> where are his nipples? In the end. Underneath the ring. The glorious vengeance. Oh god, his thighs! <laughs> Exactly! That's like held together <laughs> with buckles! It's like you have a piece of paper. Two pieces of paper, you stay together. Wait, his ass! <laughs> no, I can't stop you from walking through that door very slowly! So be it. I must descend. Well, he does have to cross the moat. And reclaim that accursed power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are! Oh shit, that's Phil Lamar, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's fucking Samurai Jack! Oh my god, I that's... just realized that. No way! Power. Is it coming oh wait, it? shit, I knew that! Oh, hold on. Isaac is voiced by... Oh god, what's his name? He's not credited in this game either. Uh, but, uh, shit. What, what else does he voice? He, you're gonna love this. He voices Dio from, uh, Vir uh, Virtue's Last Reward. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I heard it and I was like, wait a second. And, oh, God, I can't remember his name. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Too short. Oh, sorry. Liam O'Brien is the voice of Isaac. Um, yeah, he he's in a bunch of shit, but I think most recently for us, he's he's Dio. Lee, yeah. 
uh, Hector. C A V A. Crispin Freeman. Sorry, not not Phil Lamar. No. Um, he also played Matias in the in Sim or Lament of Innocence. Crispin Freeman, uh, completely different guy. What else did he do? Alucard in the original Hellsing. Itachi, oh, Uchi Uchiha in Naruto, and Guan Yu in Dynasty Warriors? Hmm. Um. Ah, oh, that's why that voice is so fucking familiar. Damn it! Okay. Yeah, I was like, that's not Phil Lamar. As soon as I said it, I was like, wait, wait a second. Okay. No, I gotta see what else he's done. Oh. Are you leaving? Okay. I have a pretty boy waiting on my computer screen to be fucked. Okay, I'll keep going then. And she leaves. How conscientious of him. He carved the instructions into stone you along with the most difficult you can. So, that's how badly he wants me to regain my powers. Very well. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness. Release yeah, I can definitely hear the Alucard. Souls. Let me infuse him with my life force. And awaken him to the world of the living. Immaculate being, appear before me now! This is a weird game. Yeah. The fuck was that? Well, well ah, here's our Arkham character. Forging, isn't it? Never seen that before. Quite impressive. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered an introduction. I go by Zed. I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. Yeah, you're definitely going to betray him. You, on the other hand, are pursuing the other devil forge master, are you not? The one you, you can't trust him, he's bald. The on the other side of the mountain. He made his escape through the back of the castle. What concern is this to you? He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me and to all those who abide in this land. I see. Very well. I, Hector, thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. Okay, goodbye. It can't be. That's impossible. She can't be alive. Oh. Oh. May I be of service? Uh, no. I can think of a way, a few ways you could service me. <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this? I could ask you the same question, sir. I am searching for someone. A man bearing the same crest I'm wearing. And this man, is he your enemy or your friend? You sound as if you know him. Yes, quite so. Now answer me, be he your friend or foe? He is my most bitter enemy. I see. In that case, I shall help you. Pardon me, milady, but by what reason would you offer me this boon? Indeed, by what reason should I trust it? Your enemy is my enemy. That is reason enough. If you are a devil forge master, you shall need a place to keep your little friend safe. Rest assured, you have no reason to refuse my help. You seem quite knowledgeable. Who are you exactly? A witch. I escaped from the western lands where we were hunted like vermin. I have the power to envision the future. How interesting. And your name? Julia. My house is further on. I shall prepare an elixir that may be of use to you. Farewell. For now. Uh oh, okay, bye.
Julia. She was the very image of Rosalie. I'm sure that won't be important later. Yeah, generally not. Actually. <laughs> Hey, this kooky little man looks is, is this whole game just no, character no, introduction? No. It's Dio! You know Who are you? Saint Germain. Hey, I know I was, you. I was gonna say, well, not exactly, but he does kind of. Please, refrain from pursuing Isaac any further. Bastard! So you're with Isaac! Why would you assume that? Because he just said, don't go after Isaac. For what purpose do you make this request? This will not make sense to you, but to put it simply, I seek to maintain the I fucking of sense greater it. will. This is pointless. I wish to revive Dracula to bring my wife back to life. To which I know how you feel and I sympathize For some you. reason. <laughs> how do you know of these things? That, I cannot tell. I know far more than you imagine. But I cannot act upon that knowledge. That is my <laughs> arrangement. I may only observe. I have no choice but to excuse myself. Please, consider my request. The top, see boy. The world hangs in the balance. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. What was that? Are you not gonna talk about how he fucking teleported away? People don't just do that, Hector. That crest. Are you the Devil Forge Master? Oh, it's Trevor! That whip, could he be? Answer me! Are you the Devil Forge Master? I am. Then this is the hour of your death. I'm sure you have a fight there. And you lose? On your own, are you truly the Devil Forge Master? And if I am? For one that served under Dracula, you seem much too weak. It's been said that the Devil Forge Master's power rivals that of death. Ah. Uh, so Do they hunting for Isaac as well, I see. Do they even meet the Forge Masters in the show? Yeah? Oh, oh. Like the main three? I think uh, I think we met Hector like at one point like for like a little bit. Oh, I don't think so. No, no, I don't I think, think so. like no, oh, no, no they, they probably, Alucard probably saw Isaac as he was getting pushed into the mirror, but, like, other than that, that's probably it. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I know. Then you're not. Wait. I recall there was another Devil Forge master. They say he betrayed Dracula and forswore his powers, but that was three years ago during the war. What? That's crazy. Could he have survived? It cannot be. Believe what you like, but answer me this. Are you not Trevor Belmont, the one who defeated Lord Dracula? That I am, though I did not fight alone. There were many brave warriors beside me. Oh, can I talk about Curse of Darkness for a second? Because this game's dumb. Have you played Curse of the Moon? No. No? Okay, so Curse of the Moon is uh, made by Igarashi, the same guy who's basically directed, produced, and or produced uh, a lot of the Castlevania games. He's like the mind behind Castlevania, basically. Okay. basically. Um, but obviously, Konami being Konami, he moved on and did, did the, the Bloodstained series. Curse of the Moon 1 and 2 use sort of the same gameplay style as Curse of Darkness, or Dracula's Curse, Cur Castlevania 3. Um, Curse of the Moon has you, after each level, you find a new person to join your squad for a total of four characters that you can switch between. They each have their own health and their own abilities, yeah. and um, so on and so forth. Which is way better than the way that Castlevania 3 does it. Castlevania 3 has the three characters that you can meet. Sypha, Alucard, and Grant the Nasty. Um, you can... You, the, but they're on split paths. So you can, you can find Grant in level 1, and you can choose either to meet Sypha or Alucard in level 2. You can't get all three. And so you may be thinking, well, I'll just go in the, the, the path to get Grant in the first level, and then grab whoever in the second level no 
Grant is so socially awkward that if, if you invite Sypha or Alucard to join your squad, Grant just leaves. He doesn't join you. So you only have two characters, basically, you can swap between. You get a choice of who the second character is, of course, but only two. And they share a health bar, oh. which which is especially bad if you're like me and chose Sypha because she takes more damage than, than Trevor and all her attacks are really short range. Oh my god. So... I think, and and they also, for the American ver- version, for whatever reason, they took away one of Grant's attacks. In the uh, Japanese version, he gets, uh, oh god. So he can climb on walls and ceilings and shit. That's cool. That's just a passive ability. He can also throw, uh, I forget what his primary weapon is, but his sub-weapon is he throws knives, and they took out the knives in Why? the American version. No idea. So I think if I did it again, I'd probably choose Alucard because he, he takes about as much damage as Trevor does, so he's about as bulky, so there'd be a, a lot of switching between them. He also gets to turn into a bat and just fly through levels, and he can, he gets a big shotgun blast of energy, just kind of like Jeebel in Curse of the Moon, but yeah, uh, hmm. Yeah, Curse of the Curse of, or Dracula's Curse was real rough when I went through it for a variety of reasons. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, yeah, I just want to talk about that. Hector. Hector. I shall remember that name. Okay, bye. We're gonna get ads. Yay. Well, that's Google cool. Pixel. I know piss while it's going on. All right. What? No. Go back. Play the fucking video. Not another ad. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. Uh, were we about nine minutes in? Yeah, we were more than that. Yeah, this whole game is just character introductions. Okay, a little bit better. Are you not Trevor? The one who defeated Lord Dracula. This is fine. Hi, monster. What? No, I didn't even you press anything. Dude. Alright. Quick intermission. Don't worry about it. Come on now, YouTube. I'm blaming Konami for this mess. Forge master. And if I am, we have survived. Right. Yeah, we got this. All right. Oh, oh, I'm pleased to see you are unharmed. Did you think me dead? I saw him earlier. I feared that perhaps. Do you even forge devils in this game? Yeah. Okay. They just don't appear in the cutscenes, <laughs> except for the one in the beginning. Making his way to the village on the other side. And what of your mission? To purify this land and remove the curse. Yes, the curse. In the end, it is all Isaac. He is the source of this pestilence. He. Ah, how could I forget? There is a matter I must attend to. By your leave. Yeah, you're definitely super sus. What's this now? Oh, hi. Hi, hi, pussy. It's you. <laughs> I was expecting someone else. You spoke with him, didn't you? And why should I answer to you? Perhaps you accept my advice then. You would do well to avoid him. Do not be drawn in by his words. Your advice is neither solicited nor welcomed. I will use any means necessary to achieve my revenge. You've been warned. Dude, what did, what did Isaac do to you? Killed his wife. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be... being who is beyond my recollection. Pretty good reason for revenge. Okay, bye-bye. Ta-ta, bitch boy. Are gonna get more characters introduced? Do oh no, it's two characters we've already known. 
You mustn't speak nor act upon matters related to fate. You had better refrain from saying anything unsuitable. Oh, that is correct, of course. But what about you? Is it not ludicrous for you to be guiding a traveler in these circumstances? I am merely lending assistance to one who is seeking what he already desires. It is the same with the curse. That's ridiculous. You have different rules for yourself. This discourse is at an end. Ah. I cannot have you interfering any longer. <laughs> He's got time magic. I will keep returning until the day you finally surrender. Ta -ta. No one escapes from me. What the fuck? He pulled a Virgil. So, those two are enemies. Neat. Oh, hey. You've caught up already, Isaac. It's still too soon, but all the same. I'll test your abilities and see how of much of your power has been restored. Fucking demon. <laughs> Unnecessary backflips. Your power is indeed returning, but it's still not oh, enough. Stop. Stop. Julia, return, Abel. Brother, what an annoying Big brother? interruption. Well, so be it. It's still too early to finish you anyway. Regain more of your power first. You'll need it all if you hope to kill me. You are not getting away! No! Let him go! Man, if this- if- if Lament of Innocence is Devil May Cry 1, and trust me it is, holy shit the voice acting. Um, this game definitely feels like the Devil May Cry 3. Ah, it's only halfway through the game, you have to get the rest of your powers, and then you can kick Virgil's ass in the final chapter. I mean, Isaac. That's who I meant. My brother is in the venomous grip of Lord Dracula's curse. The desires of a single man mean nothing. The curse rules him. Then go with Belmont or one of his vampire slayers. Someone you can be sure of. No, Hector. You must be the one to defeat him. My brother has always respected you. Only you can free him from the curse. And also, if you are the one to slay him, only then could I live with you. Huh? I understand. Of course, he is your brother. Forgive me. I was vexed. I did no, 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 no. not mean to offend. I will take my leave of you now. Bye bye, Julia. And I will do what I can. Your pussy bopping. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> An ill feeling in my loins. Well. Okay, bye. Oh, an unexpected guest. So, Zed hasn't slain you yet. I see you were spying on us, but I am an expert at miraculous escapes. Despite that, however, I have fallen into his trap at last. Trap. What trap? Oh, the space itself is a barrier. Which leads me to question, how did you get here? <laughs> On foot, there were no barriers. Interesting. Most interesting. Yes, that is quite possible. What are you saying? Well, in this space, I may be partially freed of the best of the kind. Well, that means I can have a direct physical effect here. For example, we're gonna I'm about fight. To stab you. So is that your Why? Force? Why? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> By fighting you, all that I need to know will be revealed. Honestly, and here's the thing: 
Saint Germain is like the most enigmatic character in uh, the the show. Even with the reveals that we get in season four, like I still am so confused about him. So I've been expi- excited to see him in this game, and no, holy shit, has it not revealed anything? Yeah, you you kind of asked me. I was just like, no, there's nah. no fucking, there is nothing between the two that's connected. Yeah, I I'm so he's so mysterious. I promise not to interfere with you again. Very well. I now see how fascinating time. Who are you? I'll the Patel tea. Babbler. Only half here. Not allowed to speak the truth. Not allowed to act upon reality. Yes. One who knows all. That about covers it. I see. Not allowed to speak the truth. Please forget everything I have told you. A traveler merely passes through, touching nothing, changing nothing. But. There is one thing I can tell you. What is that? I feel a new destiny flowing out of you. Walk the path. God damn it. <laughs> what happened? I was adjusting and a button Burberry got Hero. clicked. The new Whatever. fragrance for men. Go inside, it's not here. No! God damn it. <laughs> we were like 20-ish minutes in. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit more. I think right there. That's fine. The path that is meant for you. Without me. But you are no longer alone. Give my regards to Zed when you see him. Oh no, he got his little chest cut. Oh no. Skill. What the? It's not me this time. Ah! We don't even know what he was going to do. He was yelling. <laughs> oh, there we go. Give me that. No, no. I want that. Wow. Wait, it's Off still that. attached to his thing. Explode? Yeah, holy energy. Holy explosion. Okay, that's awesome. I wish Lord Dracula by a fluke, a mere twist of fortune. Yet I grant you are adept. Hector! What up, asshole? I need not linger here any longer. I've gotten what I need. But not okay. me well. I will slay both of you without fail. Without fail. Why did he so see it twice? <laughs> he wanted to make it a mysterious <laughs> echo, but he forgot he was still there. You are indeed his enemy. Just as I told you when we first met. Be that as it may, I am the one who shall vanquish him. Your meddling is unwelcome. Leave him to me. Pity, how unfortunate, such a rare opportunity squandered. On the contrary, to obtain the vengeance I seek, Isaac must be slain by my hand alone. Ergo, nothing was lost. Think you so? Then you shall be glad to know where he is bound. And where might that be? The castle ruins where we first met. Do you remember the place? How could I forget? Well said. At the top of those ruins, there is a hidden chamber. It is there you shall find him. Then that is where I must go. Ah, I'd almost forgot. Saint Germain gives you his regards. Saint Germain, you say? Did you meet him in the clock tower? Just so. He pledged he would no longer interfere in this matter. It cannot be. No, that is not possible. I must make haste to complete the final touches. I beg your leave. Adieu. You're definitely evil, but I'll t I'll go to the place that you told me to go to. Is that you, Hector? It is. I was told a hidden chamber lies beneath this castle. Isaac is there now. What? That's 
not possible. In order to open the passage to that chamber, the blood of my clan must... Oh. So that is why he fought me earlier. What is it, Belmont? It cannot be avoided. You must show me just how much power you gained. Wait. I have no reason to fight you. This is your reason. Defend yourself! Ah! Yeah. He doesn't even have the whip. It's as if you're an entirely different person. So this is your true strength. Why did you attack me? The place to which Isaac did, has gone. He, I feel like he explained that pretty well. You possess very advanced powers. I had to test you. I see. Meaning you would have me pursue him. Indeed. But first you shall need my help. Come with me. No, through the gloves. You take the gloves off first. You ruined your gloves. There. It is done. So, the Belmont blood acts as a key. And what lies beyond this point? Why? If you knew, your heart might waver. But now hold the image of Isaac in your mind. Think only of defeating him. Why does Belmont blood act as a key? It has no magical properties. They're just like really angry dudes. Show him no mercy. What is this? Like at this point in the series, they've already been cast out by the church. That's why Dracula got to be, I don't know. Fuck, fuck man. Uh, uh, okay, oceans, tornadoes. Uh, Pokemon 2000, Rise of Lugia, The Bridge. Uh, we're gonna bridge this uh, game. That's that's ba da ba ba da ba. This enormous power, Dracula's castle. Have I arrived too late? You didn't move. <gasps> Trevor, no. This looks dirty. Shh. Call it yes. the seal to Hector. Oh god, it's so deep. The seal cannot be undone except by a torrent of demonic energy. Hector could not know that. It looks, looks so bored. He's like, come on, please die already. Forge Master's power with that of an ordinary sorcerer. For a seal like that, the magic produced in battle is more than enough. Uh, uh, <laughs> Placing a guard there. Proved to be your downfall. Oh, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I... They can't kill Trevor off like this, can they? But also, like, this is the game, so it doesn't really matter, but, like, there's no way he's gonna be fine after a wound like that. That's through his heart and all the way through. It's so deep. But, like, they can't... Yeah, he, Isaac definitely rearranged Trevor's guts. That's a... I, I want to see that happen in the show. Okay. You guys have fun with it. I'll have fun with it. Oh, hey, Julia. Oh, um, somewhere. Where's your what? My card. She's gonna get through. It is likely the remnants of Dracula's magic. That reminds me. It's gonna be a minute. What are you getting food from? I'll text you. Yeah, I'll take things. Scott offers a 20. That's for gas, this is for my food. It's a bunch of wands, I don't know how much is in that. But this is something you that I can do. Then make haste. If the castle is This is for gas, he said! Anyway, there's a video game going on. 
Yeah. We must call Belmont. It is he who slew Dracula before. He can help us now. Yeah, Belmont will be able to help us. Oh no, I stabbed him. I mean, uh, pegged him. Yeah, it was good. Totally not Isaac in disguise My brother here. gave him an extra hole in his chest. God, these are big. Shut up! But just because there's a lot of gay subsects in this game doesn't mean I, I can't talk about big chocolate penetrate- uh, big chocolate tips inside me. What? Do you hear yourself? No, I don't. I'm too busy s licking the tip. <laughs> Throw my M&Ms at you. Mm. Make it S and M and all that. Yeah. God, fuck you. Yeah, he's gonna go kill Isaac, I guess. I yeah, know. something like that. Do not die. The fact that these are like the most recent Castlevania games is so silly. Like the only games that come out after Curse of Darkness are the DS games. What happened? Cool. Uh, you resurrected there we go. the castle. Heck I did. Bravo. You wanted me to regain my powers. Now I see why. I fell right into your plot. After three years of peace, I've lost my edge. And I've sharpened mine. I've been waiting quite a long time to plot my revenge. Not only did my lord die because of you. Dude, he's wearing high heels. <laughs> now I shall make you suffer as I suffered. You shall die. Actually, I take it back. Fuck. I kind of wish we'd gotten this version of Isaac in this show. Like, this guy seems really interesting. I don't know. He definitely would have been out of place in, in the style of show that Castlevania is, but... Yeah. Holy fuck, he's interesting as a villain. I, I love the smarmy assholes like this. Gruesome death! <laughs> I love the cut there. Die, Isaac, die! <gasps> Do not let the curse take hold of you. Just like in Last of Us 2. He's thinking of a Joel and is playing his guitar. Yeah, but like this is much more satisfying. <laughs> this thirst for bloody vengeance. Just take him. This is not me. It is the curse. He's starting to he he's starting to turn into cartoon Isaac. He's becoming more submissive. Yeah, submissive and breedable Isaac. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I am Bre Hector. Praiseworthy indeed. I wonder why. Was your desire for vengeance weak, or was your spirit strong? No matter. Either way, it is well finished. Your Your back, I think. A great boon to me. The moment you wavered was all I needed. Said it. So, you're the one behind all of this. You could say that. You used me to revive Lord Dracula. Even so, Devil Forge Masters alone are suffused in my master's magic. Thus, only a Devil Forge Master can be the vessel for his reawakening. I knew you would be the best material. <laughs> yes, much more so than Isaac. That is why I guided you here. So that you may fully regain your powers. Who are you? However, for Lord Dracula to be reborn in you, the curse had to take hold of you. When you rejected the curse, you proved to be useless. Truly, it is most unfortunate. That weapon! You are none other than death! Oh, of course. I told you! Just like from the first one! No, more like it's more like the show, what the show did in season four. I don't think I've seen season four then. Watch it. It is time for you to die. I might watch it tonight.
That's your first words after coming back from the dead? Why did you betray me? Why did you unleash your hatred upon the humans? When you began slaughtering them indiscriminately, I had no choice but to disobey you. You side against me for the sake of humans. Humans are not worth the air they breathe. I was simply cleansing the world. It is not your place to judge the worth of humans. The powerful always judge the weak. The humans made their judgment of me as well. Thus, I sentenced them to extinction. Sympathy is merely a form of weakness. You betrayed me, Hector. And for that, the punishment is death. I stand ready. I will not flee as I did before. So, the spoiler I want to tell you is this is the first Castlevania game where Dracula is not defeated by a Belmont. Oh, yeah. That happens. There's a couple games that we'll play that don't even feature Belmonts. Or feature versions of Belmonts, but they're not the main character. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know a whole lot about the Castlevania series, but I know, like, general things, just as I'm starting getting it. Have you forgotten? I am a devil forge master. I can turn your curse aside, transform it into something harmless, and so it shall be. Rest in peace. Oh no, right, here cool. I go exploding again. Hope that five minutes of, of uh, pleasure was worth it. Oh, Isaac's back. Yay. Blech. All right, let's go get you some actual fucking clothes. <laughs> Isaac's madness and Rosalie's death were both caused by the curse. This, then, is the final forge. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Release to me one of the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living. Immaculate being. Appear before me now! You're a forge master, you gotta use like a hammer. It is too monstrous! It's too big for me to hold with both hands! Oopsie poopsie, I better get oopsie. The struggle has ended. I feel I can let go now and die in peace. You look ghastly. Julia, why did you come here? I thought you might be contemplating something foolish like letting go. You see through it all, don't you? You've paid your debt, have you not? Isaac on the floor, on, right now, like three feet away from them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a minute. I cannot fall knowing that you would fall with me. Now that you realize, we must go. Let us depart quickly. Bling. Goodbye, brother. You sexual deviant. Mother always hated you for your fat, your leather, your fetish for leather. Man, that's gotta be like a new record. They, they, they killed Fast. Dracula and demolished the castle in like 40 minutes. They speed ran taking down <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> I mean, you joke, but the fastest Castlevania that I've played so far only took like an hour and tw 20 minutes. That was the Game Boy one. Those are, those are real short. Tis over at last. Yep, so. we'll never see Dracula ever again. Ha 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 ha
for my brother. Only death could erase my brother. Oh my god, we forgot to write my brother. Oh shit! I thought he was in the circle. You said you had him. No, you said you would get him. They shall realize that in time. Scars will fade and be lost to memory. Let us have faith in the morrow. Honestly, this for the cut, the cutscenes don't even look that bad for 2005. Oh yeah. Like I said, that that would have been the same year as Devil May Cry 3. So I mean, like, in some ways, this looks a little bit better than that. It looks brighter at least. Those are fine words. But not I'm still stuck here. As one who travels through time, I see the morrow a bit differently. All the same, the flow of time has stabilized at last. For myself, I think I will go far into the future and see what awaits. There is one great battle yet to be fought. The final battle between Lord Dracula and the humans. Perhaps they will remember your fight, or perhaps it will start a new. No more ads. Unfortunately, this is something I, I looked up because I was interested to see what it, what it meant in the show. Um, he never fulfills that promise. This is San Germain's only appearance in the games. And so that he, he says he's going to the future to the final battle between Dracula and humans, but that game does not exist. It, he never comes back. Um, uh, although, as, as far as I'm aware of the timeline, there is a game where that happens, where technically it, it will be the last one where Dracula is there, but we'll get to that. That's spoilers. What now, Hector? Where I don't know. I guess I'll fuck off, get uh, pl pegged by a vampire lady, and then she'll look in the sun and die, I guess. I don't know. Where I can live in peace. No need to search out such a place. I know of one. Pray, lead me there. I am in your debt. All that you may need, you shall find here. If that is fine with you. Okay. You booty rock. His. Why, Hector? Well, I suppose. To stay here with you, Julia. Tis not a bad idea. Cool. All right. Ah, that was Chris Darkness, I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, yeah. Any post credit scenes I should know about? I don't remember. Okay, it was, uh, there's some cut. Me, 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 me. Yeah, they fucking killed off Trevor Belmont! <laughs> it's okay, he had a son, and, uh, he had a son, and they had a son, and that, they, that, that No, son. no, he doesn't die. Does he not die? No, I don't, I don't think he actually dies. Well, he didn't show up for the rest of the game, so I'm gonna assume that he's I think it's, dead. I, no, I, I think it's in a uh, dialogue in game. Somebody mentioned oh, that. that he's he's still alive. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, that's fine then, I guess. Um, so I wanna go back to the timeline real quick. Um, all right, I have to skip ahead manually. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how to how to really feel about that. That's I definitely want to play the game now, just to see what it's like. And since you have a PS, you don't have Lament of Innocence, do you? No, just no, nah, just Curse of Darkness. Yeah. Yeah. I can look it up though. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be expensive because it's an old ass PS2 game. I really wish Konami would get off their asses and do something like re-release the games, but who knows if that'll ever happen? What's it called again? Lament of Innocence, or sorry, yeah, Lament of Innocence is the one you were looking up. It's only like twenty bucks on eBay. Oh, okay. I mean, like, if you want to get it, it it kind of seemed it, it seemed interesting ish to me when I was watching the playthrough of it. it. Not necessarily one that I'd go out of my way to play, but you have a PS2, so I guess it's a little different for you. Yeah. Um, I have to get a new memory card though, because I have no idea where my old one went. Oh yeah, PS2s. Um, 
Yeah, so we'll... Oh, oh I, one of the things about Dracula's Curse, I don't know if they mentioned in this game, but, like... I guess I'll, I'll bring this up since you haven't played any other ones in the, the main chronology. Yeah. Um, the thing with Dracula's Curse is that he's destined to be revived and come back about every hundred years. So you'll notice with the, the timeline, the years are, like, specifically, like, a new century each time, and then yeah. that, that's why. If eponymous curse still looms over Europe, carrying chaos and disease wherever it goes. During the events of Castlevania III, Hector, one of Dracula's evil forge masters, grew disgusted with Dracula's over-the-top evil ways and betrayed him. As Hector's reacclimating to normal human life, his wife is accused of being a witch and executed. Hector swears revenge against the man responsible, another devil forge master named Isaac. I don't like where this is going. Hector ends up killing Isaac, but is still able to resist the dark, vengeful temptations within. And good thing, too. From the beginning, Jeff had been pulling all the strings. He manipulated Isaac into getting Hector's wife killed and planned to corrupt Hector and use his body as a host to resurrect Dracula. But Jeff is resourceful. He settles for Isaac's body as a host and survives Dracula anyway. Talk about jumping the gun, though. If I was Dracula, I would have been pissed if I was brought back to life in a body that had just had his ass kicked. Come on, man. Hector battles this botched resurrection and sends Dracula packing, dissipating the curse over the land. Congrats, Hector. You're practically an honorary Belmont. 1576, Castlevania, the adventure. As the legend goes, now to the one that nobody likes. 100 years, when the faith in God is forgotten, Dracula will come back to life. And would you look at the time? It's been a hundred years since Trevor Belmont first defeated Dracula. Good thing I remembered to put my faith in Todd? Sod? No, oh, maybe Doc? Ah, I forget. That's not a bit important. Anyway, Dracula <laughs> is reborn. Right, that was and this time around, it's up to Christopher Belmont to destroy him. The story of this adventure is real straightforward. Gotta love those Game Boy hardware limitations. Christopher reaches Dracula and wipes him from the face of the earth. Unfortunately, he missed the spot. 1591, Castlevania II, Belmont's Revenge. Before he was Fifteen years later. destroyed, Dracula escaped Christopher's clutches by turning to mist. Forced to wait and regain That, that was clearly a bat. He did not turn to mist. That was clearly a bat. <laughs> but 15 years is a mere blink in the life of a vampire. He's patient. He can wait. And so he does. Until the day that Christopher's son Soliu was being initiated as the next vampire hunter. Dracula turns Soliu's newly obtained vampire hunting powers against him, turning him into a demon. With the help of his repurposed Belmont, Dracula assumes a solid form once again. It doesn't take long for Christopher to catch wind that his son was taken, but Christopher has a very particular set of skills. Skills that he acquired over a very long And we're back to cringe. Skills that make him a nightmare for people like Dracula. Care to guess what happens next? That's right. Christopher saves his son and actually destroys Dracula this time. This fight sucks. Reset the counter. We'll see you in 100 years, Dracula, 1591, Castlevania. Here we are at the one that started it all. It's just your simple, classic story of boy whipped vampires. Dracula is resurrected, and my new Smash Bros. main, Simon Belmont, has to lay the smack down to keep the drag down. Not even Boris Karloff is safe from Simon's wrath. As bad as Dracula gets his ass whooped, he still manages to place a curse on Simon before being defeated. 1698, Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. Wait, another Castlevania II? Well, this one is the first Castlevania II, but technically the other Castlevania II is the first Castlevania II on the timeline before the second... It's Castlevania, the adventure two. Uh, you get it. like to have a discussion about semantics. There's no time! Simon... Simon's Quest is a really interesting game. You remember how Zelda like had the, the sort of the, the NES one, and then they're like, "Hey, what if for Zelda two we made it like sort of an RPG where you have to run around the open the open world and kill monsters, and it's a side scroller and it's real weird." Simon's Quest is like that, but done like a little bit better. But like the puzzles are terrible, and the translations real off, and nobody really cared, and it's largely considered the worst in the series just like Zelda 2 it's where the infamous uh, tornado puzzle comes from mm. and pro process Dracula's rib and what a horrible night for a curse and also vampire killer which is probably the best thing from that game but hey, no biggie, fighting with oh yeah and this fight this fight sucks but for a different reason I want to show you what uh, what happened when I try, when I fought Dracula in uh, Simon's Quest. 
This is this will be spoilers for anybody watching this on YouTube because this will come out way before Simon's Quest. Um, Yeah, the final boss, you can literally kill him before he even starts moving. Once again, nipping the Dark Lord's resurrection in the bud. 1748, Castlevania. Uh, that, that's spoilers. All right, so we'll, 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 get back. We'll, we'll come back to just in, in ju just a second. <laughs> it's funny because his name is Just. Okay. That's, uh, that's, that'll be the next one we do.